I'm recording now. Yes. Hi. I'm here with a, a delegate from uh, Liberia. And you're a member of the, the, the government's delegation on this treaty? Yes, sir. Uh, upstairs, I heard you say that you thought that uh, there should be a thousand people in the room to make things move forward a little bit. Is that right? Say that again. I thought you said that there, if this meeting was in Liberia, you'd have a thousand blind people in the room. Oh, yeah, we have <laughs> 7,000. In fact, our estimate is uh, around uh, 22 to 26,000 blind persons in Liberia. Uh, and that uh, the issue of book farming affects uh, a large population. Less than 300 persons are in, with, with less than 300 persons who are blind or visually impaired are in school in Liberia. And those of them that are, have managed to be in the university, <coughs> they have had to. Uh, physically transcribe books yeah. using uh, manual machines like uh, Perkins Brothers for those who can afford it or generally slit and styluses. Gen you can imagine, yeah. What was the last part? I, I didn't catch that. The, in terms of how they get, how they, how they, how they um, convert them. What convert was it? them using manual machines like a. You know the Perkins brother, produced by Perkins? Yes. Yes, it's, uh, those of them who can afford, because the Perkins brother now is about 700 US dollars. Yeah. Not many blind person can afford 700 US dollars in Liberia. So a slit uh, stylus uh, is about 50, 50 to 55 US dollars. Many of uh, the blind children could probably afford, or maybe through an organization like ours, you know, we could give and uh, distribute slit and stylus to blind persons or blind children. Uh, so that is it. So access to book has been a serious problem for for the development of blind people in Liberia. Do you think that? Uh if the treaty passed, would it uh, change the lives of people that oh, live in Liberia? Yes, it will, uh, you know, accelerate the development and ensure that uh, blind people become uh, professional men and women in, in, in the wild field, such as, uh, you know, you know, blind people can uh, come to become, can learn to be teachers, professors in the, in schools, uh, or lawyers, or even scientists, as we always said. But uh, this is not possible if they cannot have access to the books. They need the books uh, to make research, uh, to prepare their papers and pass exams, and prepare for the workforce. If they do not have the papers, they cannot professionally improve their skills and uh, a lot of uh, honor development for the blind people or uh, without this treaty, you know, blind people will continue to go backward and many of the, us will live in uh, extreme poverty, especially in uh, developing countries. What do you, what do you uh, make of the conference so far? I think the diplomatic conference is good, the environment, is, uh, was, was rightly chosen, uh, and there is a will, I see a political will on the part of the delegates to deliver a treaty that can be effective and usable by blind people all over the world. We just need to continue to encourage, uh, especially the European Union, on the sticky issues on commercial availability and uh, you know, TPS and other things. We were quite disappointed to hear that uh, uh, you still, we still have a terif uh, terrified standing issues that are yet, that have not been, uh, as a matter of fact, resolved. We hope that the message from the president of the conference uh, can uh, ensure that uh, the negotiators you know, move with speed and, it should, and see to it that uh, this, is, this is about 
exemption to copyright, you know, in favor of uh, blind and visually impaired users. This is not about trade, you know, and I know this is where the sticker issues are, you know, the authors who are right holders, they are concerned about making profit, but this is a humanitarian uh, uh, treaty that uh, everyone, all nation, need to work towards to improve and to deliver to blind people, you know, so as uh, to to ensure their access to published works around the world. Thank you very much. Is there anything you'd like to add before I turn off the camera? Well, I'd like to also appeal that. Um, Access to information is about uh, trend, is about conversion of information from print to braille, or for those uh, who need to use large print, you know, or inaccessible format. Yes. Oh, they started the okay. conversation. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.